Hi guys. <laughs> you had to say something. Okay. Um, Hi guys. Hey guys. I'm Andrea. I'm Jennifer. And this is the first video that we're going to post on our new channel. So this channel is going to be so much stuff, I feel like. Like a little something for everyone. Yeah. So, you know, hauls that we do. On makeup clothes, food, reviews on all of that stuff. Yeah. Uh, we like to have fun, so we're like experts at dub smash. Oh, yeah. So there's going to be a lot of that. We have a ton of material for that that we'll be posting. So just to tell you guys a little bit about ourselves, uh, we live in Cleveland, Ohio. We love to shop. Love to shop. We love fashion and clothes. Well, you know and we mean? don't have the options resources. of like Chicago or New York City or LA. We work really hard for everything that we have purchased and that we're going to purchase. We both work like a regular nine Full to time. five jobs. Um, for us, we always watch videos of people, you know, and reviews of things that they get and. I feel like we could offer help to others too about with like if you're looking at making an investment in something, I feel like we're gonna give really honest, honest and good feedback. Yeah, answers. But we wanna give you some feedback. If you're looking to make an investment or a purchase on a purse or shoes, hopefully we can give you some insight on that. So to kind of kick off our first video we figured that we would kind of go through our haul from today. We went to the mall and made a really special purchase. Yes. And then we just have some other random things that we figured we would show you guys. And then also, we have just a brief review of some boots that we bought a few months ago. Yeah. Just how they did. It was our first time wearing them and, you know, if they were comfortable and kind of what our experience was yeah. with them. So... Should we start with the... Uh, should we? Yeah. Okay. So, um, I'm going to do... I'm going to do a full review and video on this at a later time, but this is just kind of a quick snapshot. Um, so, I, I did... I've been... This is, um, this is very exciting because I did purchase a Chanel bag today. Well, I actually purchased it three weeks ago, but I picked it up today. So, it was... Not an easy decision because it's a ton of money. I mean, I don't own anything other than my car that costs this much money. But um, I'm just going to, we did get that today. So, so I'm going to show you the purse I bought. So, well, I'll show you the bag. So it was, it was presented very beautifully, which when you're spending that much money, you kind of hope it will be. Like you want it to be pretty. The box. I love the flower on it. It's so beautiful. Like I don't even want to open it. So that's the that's it packaged up. Gosh, I don't even want to unpackage it. It's so pretty. This was at Saks, by the way. Yes. So it was the Chanel store. It's not like we have a Chanel actual store. Right. In it was the Cleveland, boutique. Ohio. Yeah, the boutique inside of Saks. This is. She also gave me this extra duster bag, which I thought was really nice. It's really. Oh, I didn't see the little. Yeah, isn't that so girl cute? on it? I love that. She's really cute. Um, oops. Oh my gosh, I think I think this just hit my lip and I just got lipstick on the rim of this. Oh my gosh. She's very particular about things. Oh, that's not good. Are you sure? Yeah, did you see it? You got lipstick on it that easily? I mean, it's just the case, thank God. But so, okay, so here's the bag. And it's showing... I feel like the color is picking up really well. Yeah, the lights really are showing this hardware. Yeah, it's like iridescent hardware. What would you call this color? Like, well, does plum? it say on it? Uh, it just says purple. Oh, wow. But honestly, it's sort of like a purpley gray. Yeah. I mean, it's it very is, metallic looking. Yes, it is very metallic looking. But you could, it's, it's very neutral, surprisingly. Like, you could wear this with a lot. It's not like purple, purple, you know? And I will tell you, I was planning to buy a Chanel bag. See, I don't want to get out of hand with my story, but I was planning to get one in a few years. I wanted to save up money, 
And, um, but when I walked into the store and I saw this, I mean, my, I was just like, my mouth just like dropped. I mean, it was just, it like spoke to me. And, and with Chanel, these things, it's not like this bag they'll always have. You know, the black classic one they always will have, but this one they won't. And I just, I just thought if there's a way I can do it, I'm going to do it. But so that's it. We both got this pair of boots. I think they're the pebbled leather um, rock stud boots or rock stud pebbled leather. Just so, so here's what the box looks like. It's a really nice quality box. Yeah. One thing that was disappointing instantly, there's only one duster bag. And it's not very big. Like No, and they're boots. And we don't want like the leather or the studs like rubbing up against each other and you've got the bottom of the boot which you don't want rubbing on the top of the other boot so i think and they come with some extra studs another duster bag because that would be nice one for each shoe yeah so one duster bag we both wore them today this is what they look to like. kind of break them in I, I haven't buckled it but this is what they look like Now, the, this front part definitely does look a little wrinkly because of wearing them today. Um, oh, it's kind of upside down, I guess. Uh, anyways. Looks awesome with just, like, skinny jeans, leggings, um, and a, just a t-shirt. Like, it just really makes an outfit pop. I mean, they're really sweet. However, I mean, you can... T I think we had different experiences today, actually. We totally had different experiences. I, how long would you say we were at the mall today? Maybe four hours? I was fine almost up until the end. It was the last maybe half hour that my feet really started to bother me. Yeah. Um, and maybe because I went up a size, but for the most part, I thought it was, I thought they were pretty comfortable myself. And see, I did not agree with that. And I, I don't know what it is. I'm telling you, after like, I would say after an hour, maybe even less, I was in pain. And I don't know if it was the way I was walking. And it just, they it, they were not comfortable for me. But it was the, all the walking and stopping and standing. I did not think they were very comfortable. So I, I don't know. I mean, how so could I it be? I don't know if that helps anyone because our... No, I don't Experience think so. Experience is so different. But again, we want to be honest. So you're used to wearing heels. I don't wear heels that much. I'm a Converse All-Star. I wear Converse All-Stars all the time. All the time. So I'm not used to heels. They were fine if you're going to dinner and like going home or something. But if you're going to be walking for an extended period of time, I say not a good idea. You didn't have a problem though. And I think these are the perfect boots to wear like with a leather coat and like a t-shirt like this, this is how I wear mine with a leather coat and yeah. just jeans. Because, I mean, I felt like, you know, a badass. Oh, I, I was like, sweet. I felt really sweet. Yeah. So, and, but, but, and again, another thing is, you went a little bit bigger. We're the same size and you went bigger. Maybe, maybe that's the answer. I'm still going to wear them. I mean, they look awesome, but I just wish they were a little bit comfortable, more comfortable for me. Yeah, so... That was our review on that. If we wear them again and, you know, something changes, maybe we just had to break them in or something, then... That could be. We'll let you know. Yeah. So, I guess since we just did shoes, I'll just yeah. show these that I got. But you haven't worn them yet, right? I've not worn them because they're boots and I'm going to be wearing them in the cold weather. But I really wanted um, a pair of boots that I could wear in weather. Salt, snow... We're in Cleveland. Pretty so... much like you wanted like waterproof, winter weatherproof. Yeah, but still like not big chunky ski boots. Like I wanted like something. trendy. Yeah. Yeah. Never heard of this brand before. But the lady at Saks swears by it. She's going on so, and on about them. It's called Aquitalia. She said that you get salt on them or they get wet. They're waterproof. You can wipe the salt off with a baby wipe. It won't stain. They're yeah. already treated they're made in italy so i'm hoping that she's right um, so here they are it's just a simple wedge um yeah it's just a smooth leather but both sides zip down and i will say these i did try them on they're 
super comfortable. Very comfortable. I mean, it just hugs your foot like a like a glove. This is not real fur, which, like, you can roll it up and, I don't, yeah, I, the fur kind of makes me nervous, but she said it's completely weatherproof. Yep, she did. And after it dries, you just kind of, like, fluff it back up and it'll be fine. Yeah. So, but very cute. They also had these in, like, is that like a taupe, taupey gray color? Yeah. Um, but they had really cute shoes and she swears by them. Um. I, I just thought these were expensive for a brand that I had never heard of. We do have a few more things um, before we wrap up here. We went to Sephora, and I've been seeing this palette on so many YouTube channels that I watch. Like, I, I'm i a big YouTube. I love a lot of people on YouTube, and almost everyone I watch that does, like, makeup has had this palette and just raved about it for you. It's the um, Kat Von D. Is it called uh, Mi Vida Loca palette? Yeah, Mavita Loca, but this is what it looks like. And like, it's so pretty. It is so beautiful. And it's got a color from every side of the wheel. Yeah. And then the neutrals in the middle. FYI, though, I got VIB status today at Sephora. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. <laughs> that's pretty sweet. One thing I was just telling her that I really want to do, whenever I get ready, I feel like I always do the exact same thing. I do neutral eye, little bit of sparkle, and I love it, and I'm, you know, I'm happy with it, but I never go outside of the box. I want to do, like, a blue eyeshadow or a purple, and I, I never, I don't know if I don't have the balls to do it, or if I'm just nervous that it won't go with my outfit. I, mean, I think that we need Not to make like, a commitment to each other that the next time we go out, we both have a different eye color on. No, no neutrals. Blues, reds, pinks. Can you do that? I guess. Maybe we'll film some looks for you. Yeah. Um, after we try it out. Oh, and then you got shade and light palette. Contour palette. So it looks awesome. Actually, everything I bought from Sephora today was Kat Von D. Yeah. And now, is that just for contouring? Or is the highlighters on the top? Or is that... I think no, I think it's all contour. Yeah. Yeah. I'm interested to see if you get a lot of use out of that. I think I will. I like the... Um, the colors, though, because sometimes contouring colors can be too orange. Yeah. And these are definitely not that. So, no. um, um, I picked up the Cover FX foundation. We have, and I didn't know that Sephora had it at the store. I thought it was just online. And, you know, I don't know if every Sephora has it. I think it's just certain ones. So, I hope that it works. I mean, I'll, I'll let you know when I use it. And um, if it doesn't work, I probably will return it because you can do that at Sephora. But um, I will let you know if I like that. And we then, found out that we're the same color, too. Well, we're both G5, G50. Yep, is G, our shade. Yeah, G50. Um, and then I also got the Bobbi Brown um, Art Stick. And I, I've used this before. I have it in two other colors. And I love, love, love the consistency. It's like a matte satin. And um, I wanted to get, the colors I have now is like a, I have like a, kind of like a brownish pink, and then I also have a bright red, but I wanted to get a color I would wear like every day. This is dusty pink, and it's basically like a crayon. It's, it looks just like this, and it comes with a sharpener, and um, like I said, I know I'll, I know I'll, I'll love it, because I have it in two other colors, and I really love it. So, um, if you like a matte kind of satin finish, I would definitely try the Bobbi Brown Art Stick because they're really awesome. So, that's all that we got today. I mean, not all. I mean, the Chanel, for crying out loud, that's enough. It's enough purchase for, like, 20 years. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but yeah, that's all for this haul. Subscribe if you're interested in you know, fashion, food, clothes, makeup, shoes. Our channel name is Ann Jen Collab. Yeah. So Andrea, Jen. Jennifer, collaboration. Yes. Ann Jen Collab. So please subscribe. Uh, some Probably in the next couple of days we'll be uploading a Dub Smash video. Just to give you a little taste of what we do. And we take it very seriously. Oh, we're talented. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so hopefully that'll be going up in the middle of the week, maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. So please subscribe, 
and thank you. Bye.